Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today, today is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I'm up, ready to take on my day. So today's video is going to be restocking my pantry and then some food too as well. Always gotta throw some food in there. So I have got, this is what my cupboards are looking like lately. <laughs> we went away on vacation and then, um, you know, just kind of haven't done a whole lot like went shopping kind of threw things in here threw things in i have a storage let me tell you, i have a storage like in my hallway i transformed a closet to a extra food storage holding place and so usually when i get stuff and extras i throw it in there and i'll just use what we have right here to eat out of well these are looking all scatterbrained and like i can fill these up there's this one let me show you this one over here this one over here i think is probably the worst yeah let me show you a good view as you can see, I mean, it's just random things. Yeah, everywhere. Oh, look down here. It's just everywhere. Yeah, that's my pantry right now. Yeah, that's my pantry. We're, we're we need some organization. And so before I take on any more shopping, things like that, I thought, let me organize what I have, straightening it, making it nice and neat, and then getting the extras from my hallway, bringing them here, filling this up, so then I can go, okay, what do I have to restock up on? So usually about every, I don't know, I feel like I use that up every few, about three months or so. We kind of use that stuff up and I'm like, I have to kind of get some more to replenish it. So that is my goal for today. And I also got my candy jars over here, over there. <laughs> it looks weird pointing. Back there, I've got my old fashioned candy jars. So I've got my candy and cookies over here. So I'm anxious, not anxious. I'm excited to fill those up and put those over there for the kids. They've been asking like, can we open the new candy? And I'm like, I gotta get my container. So I just wash those. They're sitting there. I'm gonna put those out today. It's gonna be a great day. All right, we're gonna have a great day today. Let's organize my pantry, fill up my pantry, fill up all my things, see what we got. So first thing I'm gonna go over here, carry all the cans over to here so I can put them in the cupboard. All right, let's go. Okay, went over to my hallway and grabbed about six cans of everything that I had over there. So I'm gonna kind of I mean, I might not put all of it, I might, it just depends on how it fits. See what I can fit in here. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my arms give out. Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of Okay, so I feel like I got this organized as good as I could. I also found um, Worcestershire sauce. I think, why was I making this? One of my recipes, I was needing Worcestershire sauce and did not have any. Whatever that was, well here it is. Now I can have some. That was hidden in the back, so I'm gonna put that like right there. My honey is spilling over, so this is good. This will be like, the why do they make um, cabinetry and it only fits like three jars back? Not even perfectly. Look at that. Okay, it doesn't even fit. It like fits three jars and then there's like not enough space for a fourth one. Why would you do that? So I kind of off-centered some, but this at least I can go, all right, this is what I have. This is what I have. I left a little bit of space for extra stuff that I would find, like random things, like if we got more, you know, if I bought more dilly green beans, which I wouldn't because they're like $5 a jar, but I just wanted them because they're so good. And then just random things, you know, just sitting up there. So this is good. I can look up there and go, no, oh, I'm out of ketchup. I'm out of Miracle Whip. There's a small one, but like the bigger container. So good for this right here. The only thing I couldn't fit was this thing. And I forgot my peanut butter goes up here too. I can just stick that. The kids do use that. We like that for squeezed on things. So this cupboard is done, which is good. So I had a whole case of way too many cans over. So I put those back in my closet over here. And then let me, um, <laughs> I know this one's a mess. So I'll probably, I'll probably grab stuff from there to fill this up with. I think that's next. Things are gonna go my way. I'm 
gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back Sad words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Okay, the only bad thing about filming is you can't see into my pantry But I will show you that in a few minutes So I need to, um, I kind of moved a few things around a little bit I have a lot of dried beans And we don't, I haven't been using a lot of them So I'm going to actually Transfer. I've got a tiny little package here. Let me show. I've got a tiny little package here of pintos. I'm gonna put in here. And I have extra beans in my dry storage over there, but they're like a brand new bag, and I don't want to open them because I'm not ready. I'm not ready to use those. So I used to store them in here because I used a lot of pinto. Well, now I'm not doing that much. I'm gonna put it up in a smaller container right here. And then I was looking at like this stuff. I think this is bulgur. Never gonna use that. So I'm not gonna keep that. This is this, what is that? I can't think of what the rice is called. I can't think of the name of it. It's like real tiny rice. We use it for soup. So I need to just fill that up and put the chicken in there. So it makes it nice and almost like a pasta. These bags work great. These I bought at Lowe's. They're big bags, grand set. I never found them at the, um, at the regular grocery store, but I found them at Lowe's, Lowe's or Home Depot one time, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get those, and they hold a lot. So just make sure you get all the air out, wrap those up. Perfect. So, and then um, this is another one. This is like the mystery rice. I think it's jasmine rice, I don't know but I don't use it and it, um, every time I use it, I feel like it makes the wrong stuff. So let me see if I got a small jar. I have this tiny package of little tiny scars. I thought these were cute. This I can put in my little mason jar right here. Okay, since I can't take my camera in here very well, I will show you the progress so far. So I put all of our, like this is chai tea mix that I made. That'll come as it's getting warmer here instant mashed potatoes, the popcorn seeds, and then I put all my rice and dried beans that's stuffing up on top because it's a very small amount. So I have that yellow rice I need to use up. I've got no up there, and this is all the pasta I have right now. So I feel like that's good. I don't think there's any other, I don't think there's any other different ones I would use. Probably use rotini, but not very often. So that's why there's a box up there. Spaghetti, I used to have it in one of these, but I have all these boxes now. So I am just going to leave it like that. This is all like our Asian pasta. There's linguine curly noodles and then that's for the soup pack and I put that lo mein up front because we'll probably use that so that's there because that's like the where I have to go and I always put it down here so I'll just put it up there and then I have this little bit left over here you know my stash of macaroni and cheese I only got one box but that's okay it can be here and then this is our couscous and these are the random small jars of stuff which I'll leave here I'll think about seeing those so I can use them up in soups okay another thing I have a whole lot of this <coughs> bisquick I have a lot of this bisquick so I'm going to use my pinto bean container to I get the sticker up here. I don't know why I labeled all these because I thought I would be refilling these like they do on the videos, but that does not happen in my house anymore. It's more of like a shifting and moving around of things because some weeks, like I got a lot of this. Well, I buy this all the time. No, it just depends on what they have on sale or maybe we'll, we'll find that we use it all the time. All right, I don't know how many I'm going to pour in here. Let me see. I have, I feel like three of these are going to go in here. So I'm going to pour this in here, right here. But what I'm gonna do, I, I need to save this. Oh yeah, got it to fit, okay, perfect. <laughs> I was able to use those up. Okay, I clean out the bottom. I'm not showing you a whole lot of that because I can't film that because it's down low. So I have powdered sugar here. I'm just adding to this because even the one in here was from this bag. I just needed a little bit more. We used this stuff up. We're actually making some 
cut out cookies real soon. I've got it on my list. My kids wanted to do the fluffier kind. So I had to buy some cream of tartar. Um, cream of tartar, you know, the, the baking thing. And I got some of that, which was good. So now, all right, I can fill these up. The thing I was going to do, you know what I found? Blueberry coffee. I'm like, what? I didn't realize this was the blueberry coffee, so I need to fill my pods with this. I've got a couple different containers of my Maddox coffee, and so we just refill them each week. So I'm just gonna fill up this jar right here. Makes it a little bit easier to pull it out of the jar than the bag. give you updates a little easier for me and then I just did my baking so normally I have this all shoved down here well I'm finding I'm losing things and not seeing them on the shelf so I just put those all the way across up there that's my powdered milk sugar flour powdered you know powdered sugar brown sugar and oatmeal and then right here this is the pancake mix I'm gonna use that up that is the um, Bisquick one. There's the oils there. I got oil in the back. And on my cake mixes, I put this up front because again, I did never see this. And then the chocolate chips. And then I have another bag of brown sugar. I probably could add that to the big one, but I'll wait till my one is empty. And then down there is like coffee and there's an extra bag of candy, which I probably should hide that in the hallway. Let me hide that because I feel like I would eat that. And then it's random like we gotta go way down. don't mind the dirty floor there's like shortening down there there's tea bags for my kombucha and there's the salt for popcorn so this is good for over here i have empty space that's a good thing so now let me work on like snack area i haven't been to my discount store so i have a lot less snacks so this is good i'm pulling stuff out of there i bought these last year big giant m or not actually what was this past year Candy Hanes. I'm gonna put these in here because the kids have been starting to drink hot cocoa. It's getting chilly if you notice the sweater. It's getting a little cold, windows open. So I'm gonna put this in there for snacks. Again, I'll show you when I'm getting there. I got a mess going on here, but my pantry is looking better. So, oh, I left a box up here. Don't mind the box here. So this is like random stuff up here. This will probably change as I get more stuff, but this is just like the cupboard to use things up. It's random stuff like my tea, bacon, and all that good stuff. And I just put all the snacks down here. There's s'more material, there's popcorn. I have a lot of nuts, crackers, stuff like that. I have the goldfish in the back. Open up a breadstick. I have a little bit of this for soup. I gotta remember that's there. And then um, chips right here crackers and then this is evan's pile of stuff here so his snack food pile is usually on the floor so i'm like let me give you a spot up here normally i have a container that holds all of our crackers but i don't have that up here now and then i probably next time i go shopping i'll get some i might have to rearrange but that's okay this stuff was sitting in like a set of drawers this right here i took out so that just kind of holds it's like the wax paper sheets brown paper bags my piping bags random things that i don't really use all the time tortillas are here I put these here so I see them. Down the bottom, I put my um, candy canes in the corners. So they can see them. It's going to be an empty corner over there, but that can hold other things as we go shopping. The ice machine is in here because it takes up so much space in my countertop. Where do you put the ice machine? So my thought was, there's the cord. I can take that cord and plug it in out here, and we can still have shaved ice. Just do it right here in the pantry. That's completely fine. I wish I had a plug, but I don't, so that's okay. And then um, there's hot chocolate because they've been eating that and, or drinking that. There's cereal. I put my potatoes. I had a shelf over here that Greg had built, but it's in the one it open now. So there's my potatoes so I can see them, which is good. And then I put my onions over here. I know, random spot, but that works right there. I hit some snacks back there. It's good. I got to clean my floor in here, kind of organize my um, spice shelf rack thing here put my bags up on top. I'm feeling really good right here, which is good. And I've got all this stuff to kind of do something with. We're getting there. I've left this stuff out. It's like half peeled pistachios for today. This I'll use with hummus today. That's out. I'm gonna fill my coffee with my good flavors today. And then uh, just pick this mess up.
Okay, I'll clean. I left this little jar of vinegar there to catch any of those remaining disgusting bugs back. I kept my onions in the bag because they left all the peels everywhere. So that's going to work in there. I'm good in here. So doing good, feeling like I got all those washed. I will just put those in our hallway pantry to store. I will be going to a discount store and getting snacks and stuff, but now I can kind of see what I have, trying to make meals out of what I have so I don't. I had a couple of HelloFresh meals that we really enjoyed, so I put those. I kept the recipes in there, and I'm like, I'll put them in my desk with my other recipes so that I know, all right, I need to do something or make some of these. And then these two things, I will just set in the garage for now. When you take something out of your house, you don't know if you want to throw it away or give it away. Put it somewhere that you don't see it, and if you don't touch it or need it, it's safe to say throw away. So the only thing I have to do before the kids get up, or I want to do, is fill my treat jars, because they get treats at the end of school, and I feel like this is gonna be a good thing. So I went and got chocolate candy, Krabby Patties, and what happened is it was really hot that day. I took the chocolate with me when I went into places, but I left these in the car, and they kind of melted a little bit, but I'm sure that's it. And then I got lemon Oreos they like, so I'm gonna put those in there. Let's see how long these last. Okay, real fast, why on the Twix does it say left and right? I probably could Google it, but let me know why it says that. This is gonna be good. They're gonna have a choice of chocolate. <laughs> and the key is gonna be, do they not touch them the other times of life? We will see. I have to hide these, put these away. Okay, this is good. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I keep walking with this. I don't know yet. I don't know if I'll just put it up here maybe. <sighs> Store it up in my refrigerator with my other glass one because I lost the lid from my dome. That's okay. We'll see if I do anything with it. But this is good. Good enough for now. Right, let's come back tomorrow and <laughs> see what the status is of the jars. I'm gonna trust. I'm putting trust in my kids not to eat all of them. We're just going to see how that goes. So I'm going to pick up my mess here. The little bit I'm going to do, I'm going to stop. i got to take a break and do school. I'm back in a little bit. Okay, feeling really good. I've got my hallway organized, and so I kind of look at everything and know where I'm at. So I'm going to start school with my kids, but what I'm going to do, probably won't talk, but I'm going to make some chicken and gravy with biscuits because we have some biscuits here. And I don't think these are going to get eaten up in the next day, so I thought they would be good to... Um, have with great chicken gravy and biscuits. So I'm gonna use grandma's recipe that we used, and then I'm gonna use those drumsticks. You guys said your kids don't like drumsticks. I don't love them either, so I just got a bag kind of thawing in the sink. I'm gonna put it in my pressure cooker, let it cook down, and then I'll pull the meat off the bones, and then we'll use that meat for the chicken and gravy. That was a great suggestion, thank you. Okay, so I'm having a good afternoon. We had school. We're trying to get school done so we can get out the door. So it's a busy day for me. So we have plans today. But what I did is I took all those drumsticks and I pulled all the meat off as best I could without being like, ugh, grossed out because, you know, that is kind of gross. <laughs> but I got most of it off, so that's a good thing. And then um, the boys came and they can just, they're gnaw on the bones, they like that. I'm like, it's all good. And then what I did is I saved some of the chicken broth, but not all of it, and I just put some more chicken broth in here. I'm trying to remember how grandma made this. She used cream and chicken soup. And then I think that she did, um, let me boil this. Um, she also did, what did she do? Hold on one second. 
get the spurtle. She also did like um, a little thickener with cornstarch and water. So, and I think she put some onions in here and spices. So I'm probably gonna have to add that in there too. I'm gonna let this come to a boil here and then we'll go from there. But this will be easy. I've got the biscuits here. I might make a little bit extra so that, because I don't know if there's enough now. They had some for breakfast and they ate it. So we'll see, but I can always throw those in the oven today. So let me just get this to a boil. Okay, so I'm just grabbing spices. I'm grabbing some onion in here. Put a little bit of onion. I'm using saison, the bed, bed, badia, 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 badia. I'm gonna put that in there. So I've got that. I think that's good. This will be good enough for me. So this is just gonna come to a boil here. I'm probably gonna get my thickener out. And then we will have this for dinner over. There's three, four, five, there's three, six, there's like eight. There should be enough biscuits. Like only you, we don't love biscuits and gravy, but they will have one per thing. So I think that's gonna be a good thing. And I'll get some frozen veggies out to put it over. So it's gonna be good. All right, let this come to a boil, hurry and boil. All right, so I'm gonna mix up this with some cold water, cornstarch, just so I can put it in here. This will thicken as it keeps cooking through the day. Okay, so this is done. So all I'm gonna do is put my lid back on and it's just gonna be on slow cooker setting for the day. We're leaving, we're going out to go for a play date, a play date. <laughs> and so, go meet, I should say, go meet up with some friends. And then we get back, this will be dinner with this. I'll probably open a can of probably peas because I feel like the kids would eat the end of these. These are a little bit dry, so that'll be perfect. I'm done, I don't have to worry about anything. No heat is expelled in my house because it's all contained to the pressure cooker, a good meal to make while you're busy doing life. All right, so dinner was delicious. You saw that, that was really good. Most everybody ate it. There was one child that was trying to, tried to force their way to eat it down, but they ate some. And then a couple didn't like the biscuits, but they liked rice in it. So I had leftover rice from our nacho taco day that we had this week, last week, and then um, they ate that with it. So that worked out really good. So it was a good dinner overall. I feel like I need to take more of that chicken and cook some more and hide and like pull all that meat off and maybe mix it with some white meat. That's what I should do. I should cook some chicken tenders, which I have, and cook all that meat, because that's a lot of drumsticks in there. We got a lot of drumsticks. We might see how the week goes. So, all right, I'm going. You have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. Remember, you are designed, created, and selected by God to do great, wonderful things. And I'm gonna see you tomorrow with another video. Okay, have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow, bye.